welcome to another video if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back and if you're a new subscriber hello my name is Odinaka I create content around home styling organization cleaning videos family and lifestyle okay so if you like kind of content you'd love to watch you are on the right channel this video is all about fridge deep cleaning and organization once in a while i always pull out everything from my fridge to deep clean i don't know about you drop me a comment down below do you do you find the need to deep clean i mean most of my deep cleaning videos i've been sharing them on instagram i've not really been particular about sharing them here so today i'm going to be sharing all the gc details you need to deep clean your fridge in a very safe way okay. first of all i've gotten some containers because the ones we have in the fridge they are actually serving but i think there is need for us to switch things up these containers have been washed and dried some of them are still drying don't ever use any of these containers especially if you're going to put edible things without washing them anyways of course you know you're going to enjoy this video please go ahead to hit that like button and subscribe let us proceed into the main content of the thing okay <laughs> i'm gonna start by pulling out everything from this fridge this is really scary but I know with you guys by my side, we can pull it up. <laughs> I feel like the way it is now, we are struggling with space. Yes, and we cannot afford another fridge. There's no space. Where's it gonna go? So let's get into the video. All done. So this is what we're dealing with and this is the reason why I emphasize on cleaning your fridge every now and then. I don't even know where to start but I'm thinking maybe we should start with the fruit and veggies and then the milk is going to be the last. First point of call is going to be to disinfect the fridge. Guys, this is one formula I always use for my fridge. I don't like bringing in all this cleaning product into my fridge because I mean these are all edible things that you just drop randomly in the fridge so it is safer to prepare one with natural products and this has always done the magic it's going to remove all the debris you've seen in the fridge I'm going to go in don't always forget to switch off your fridge what's wrong with me all done so I'm going to spray this generously into the fridge So I'm gonna allow it to sit here for the next 15 minutes. While it's sitting, let us go and wash up all the stuff there. Oh my god, I'm not looking forward to that, but we have to do it. Let me know in the comment section how do you preserve your fruits in the fridge. I have learned a few methods that I think will really help your fruits stay fresher and you know increase the shelf life in the fridge. ever thinking of using the milk bottle i would advise you get this label this is called expiry label you need to always label your food that will expire because you don't want to eat expired food so this was also forgotten from amazon so i'm gonna go ahead to label the milk bottles now The good thing about these milk bottles is the fact that 
they are airtight they are specifically for mail always remember to write the expiry date okay I'm still expecting some containers. I realized we we're gonna run out of some containers yesterday and I ordered more. So we're almost done and I have finished organizing most of the things into the containers. It's time for us to organize them into the fridge. This is what our fridge looked like and I hope you guys enjoyed organizing this fridge with me. At some point, I had to seek hobby's help because you guys, I was racking my head how to make sure I utilize the space in the fridge. And to be honest, you have to be very, 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 very careful when you're using the stack cables. You need to, I think I would advise you to mix it up. Use the big one and the small one. The ones from B&M are yeah, 30 cm long and then the ones from Amazon are 25 cm. So I'll say mix them up because of some kind of things you're going to have in your fridge. Like so for some fruits, there's some fruits that you don't need to really put in the big ones. So you can use the small ones to put them. So this really, really, really helps to maximize the space in your fridge. So I'm going to leave the link for you guys in the description box. As you can see in the fridge, we still have three more spaces where we need to buy more of the stackables so i'm definitely going to get more because we still need to restock like salad and fruit and not really fruit salad and um, juices and all that and even carrots yogurt so you can see that we have spaces for all this stuff i'm going to take off this one later on and then be using this place to store most of our freezer bag foods okay so yeah that is what we have been able to come up with i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video with me and let me know which part of my house you want to see Next, I told you guys that we're going to be, you know, reorganizing every part of this kitchen, but bit by bit, we are getting there. We are getting there. Everything you see here is very practical. So what it means is that whenever we need to cook anything, we just need to pull out the one container that has everything there. And then afterwards, we just sit back into the fridge. So it keeps the fridge organized, okay? And you end up utilizing all the space you have in your fridge. I'm so tired. I'm so, so tired. I think somebody commented in my last video saying they want to see how I organized my pots. See, I'm still figuring that one out because it's a struggle, but trust me to come through for you guys. I'm definitely gonna hit something and then I'm gonna share it with you guys, okay? So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying my organization videos. Let me know um, if you're gonna actually do this. When was the last time you organized your fridge? Are you utilizing the space in your fridge? What is a struggle? Let's discuss in the comment section. So if you enjoyed watching this video, do well to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay fabulous. Bye.